Hi, I'm the coordinator for Student Support Services, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our program at Indian Hills Community College. The mission of Student Support Services is to provide activities and services to students so that they will graduate and or transfer to a four-year college. We offer a variety of services, which we'll talk more about in the next few minutes. These include transfer assistance, academic services, individual advisement, grant aid, special events, cultural trips. We also have what we call the textbook lending library, and this is very popular amongst our students thanks to the generosity of peers and other staff and teachers at the college. Books have been donated and are available to you to check out. So after you register for your classes, you can bring in a copy of your class schedule for the following term and fill out a request for books. If we have any available that you need, you're going to be able to use those just like they were your own books, highlight in them, write in them, take notes in them. We just ask that you return it as soon as the term is over so that someone else can use it the following term. And if you have any books that you're not using anymore or that um, you're not able to get your money out of it and you want to donate those, we're always welcoming books for donations as well to continue the lending library. Our transfer assistance is an important component of student support services. We do transfer trips almost every Friday in the spring and in the fall terms. This is something we strongly encourage our students to participate in. Even if you're not considering transferring right now, it's a great opportunity to see what other colleges and universities have to offer. Um, we take care of all the arrangements, setting up transportation for you, making sure you have a tour of the campus, meet with somebody from your department, have lunch. So really your only obligation is time. If you can give a few hours on a Friday or a day, we will really take care of everything else. If going on a transfer trip isn't your thing, we do have a transfer workshop. These are offered over the lunch hour and give you the opportunity to come and get more information regarding transferring. We'll also have a transfer fair where a whole bunch of universities across the state of Iowa and surrounding states come here to Indian Hills Community College. This is a great time for you to come and talk to the different schools, find which ones offer the programs you're interested in, and even apply. We encourage all of our students to attend that transfer fair. If you're not sure what major you want to declare or what program you should be in, please come see us. We are more than happy to help you with that process. Our academic services here on the Tomo campus are mostly offered through the Success Center, which is right around the corner from the Student Support Services office. In a minute, we'll watch a video with the director and he will give you a little tour and share more specifically about what all they offer. But our assessment of needs and tutoring basic skills classes are all done through the Success Center. We also do what we call early intervention grade checks and these are done at the fourth and ninth week of each term mailed to you. You take them to your instructors and get your current grades and then turn them into us. Out of those that are turned in, we always try to draw somebody and award them with a gift certificate to the bookstore or something similar. But we like to do this for a couple reasons. One, we like to see that interaction occur between students and teachers. If there's any discrepancy or if there's any concerns, you and your instructor can discuss that. It also gives us the opportunity to assist you if there's something that we can connect you with or services that we can provide to improve your grades or if we need to look at alternative options. Our newsletters are also something that go out once a term so you want to make sure you keep those because all of our services and everything that we have going on will be in that newsletter. Okay, but for now let's listen to Daniel Ockett with the Success Center tell you and show you more about what is available. Welcome you here today. 
And what I would like to do is give you a brief synopsis of the services we offer here at the Success Center. Please, if you will, join me for a tour. Well, right here is this is our introductory area. This is where you will be greeted and needed by a wonderful student staff. They will help you. Yes, they are. <laughs> and indeed, what they will do is they will ask you for an identification card, in which you will gladly scan. And once you've done that, we can direct you to the services that you need. Let's walk on back and let me show you some of the things that we offer. As we go back here, one of the things that's first on our list is the math lab. In fact, a math lab is utilized heavily because, after all, many of us could use some additional support in that area. One of the things that happens is you can walk in or make an appointment. As you come in, they will help you systematically with your math problems. Let's move on further down. They renovated them. You'll see a series of offices here. And on our right here is disability services. If you need to avail yourself of that, you are more than welcome. You will also see a series of chairs here. It's a very welcome environment to come in and study. Over here we have a classroom that's currently not used. However, this is where we feature a series of study skills courses to show up your basic skills. Come on back. And back here, of course, we have a conference room. And then in the very back, we have a writing lab. Do you feel like you're struggling with papers on how to compose an excellent essay? Come to these folks, and they will help you write the very best essay you can. And finally, but not least, our computer lab is back here, offering a wonderful environment for you to come back, work on your essays, work on your papers in a quiet place. I hope you'll join us soon. And once again, my name is Daniel Ogden with the Podhoven Academic Success Center. Thank you. So, like I said, that's a success center. Got a little tour of it, but if you still have any questions on how to utilize those services or what all is available, please don't hesitate to ask. It is an excellent, excellent resource available to all students at Indian Hills Community College. As a student support services member, you're also, we are also available to you as an advisor. So if you have questions about what classes to take or how much time you have left in your program, or just anything regarding your academics, we can usually meet with you right away. There's limited wait time. Or if you prefer to make an appointment, you can definitely do that as well. But we're easily accessible. And this is um, for our arts and science students primarily. If you are in a specific program, obviously you'll still want to meet with your advisor in that department. But if there's any questions, we're happy to look into it and connect you with um, the appropriate person if there's something that we can't answer. We also have grant aid. This is a grant that's made just once a year. The deadline is in November for the application and for the points. You do have to turn in an application to qualify for the grant by that deadline and you must be receiving a Pell Grant and have unmet financial need. If you complete the application and meet those financial aid requirements and are in good academic standing and are active in student support services, then you will get a grant from us and that will come out in December likely. Now you may ask, what does it mean to be active in student support services? The director created a point system to document activity. So to be considered active, as a participant, we require you to have at least 12 points each term. This slide shows just some examples of ways that you can get points, but it's not an exclusive list. In our office, we have a form that gives you some more options. If you have questions about this, you can come see us. You can get four points just by completing a developmental skills course over in the Success Center. You can get three points by scheduling and attending an academic session with me. You can get a maximum of six points a term that way. Or if you trans go on one of those transfer visits we talked about, those are also worth three points. If you come to a network at noon or advisory meeting, a cultural event, or turn in a grade check form, those are all worth two points. If you get a tutor, or are a tutor, for every five hours that you are involved in tutoring, you get a point. Or if you go to a campus event, like a basketball game, 
or check out the art gallery or go to uh, a theater performance here on campus, bring us documentation and we can also count that as well. Our network at noon and advisory committee meetings are offered over the lunch hour and we provide you with a free lunch and different topics depending on what we think is important to our students. Great way to get not only points but quality information um, in between classes. The network at noons are offered almost weekly and advisory meets once a month with me and that's more based on leadership. Highly recommend those. Our special events are a fun way to meet other people and try some things you may not have done otherwise. We go to Broadway shows, musicals. Um, the Indian Hills Department has, the Fine Arts Department does excellent productions here on campus that we will attend. Local theaters will also put on shows that we will go to. There will even be some educational and leadership conferences here in this area in the state of Iowa that will take students to that you'll have the opportunity to be a part of if you're interested. Staying connected with us is key so that you know what is going on and what is available since there's such a variety of services and programs. We want to make sure that you know what you want or what you need, how to stay in touch with what's going on. So you can find us on Facebook, IHCC Student Support Services is our Facebook page name. We're also on Viber under IHCC Student Support Services. Remind.com is how you sign up for our text messages. We have a group in My Hills. Our newsletter, as I mentioned, that goes out each term always has our calendar in it and any events going on will be highlighted there. And if you want to see some of the stuff we've done for some photos, hashtag IHCC Trio on Instagram will bring up that information for you. And don't worry, if you didn't get all of that, I will be happy to provide you with that information on a flyer. We're just so happy to have you in Student Support Services and to be a part of your journey while you're here at Indian Hills Community College. We're hoping that through our program you're able to meet some new friends and have some opportunities to try some new things, as well as develop some leadership skills, get involved in campus activities, build your resume, and most of all, we want to support you through graduation. Now, after watching this video, if you have some questions, please don't hesitate to ask them either today or as they come up. Anything that you need assistance with or have a concern about, please come into our office. Our doors are always open to our students. I look very forward to meeting you and getting to know you and helping you as you are a student at Indian Hills Community College. Thank you.